for those of you who don't have a Tesla, and you may not know this, that Tesla periodically sends software updates to your car. It's just like a smartphone or a tablet or your computer. They're, they're sending bug fixes and new features. It's just one of the things about driving a Tesla. It's really more of a computer on wheels than it is an automobile. And today just happens to be a special day. Uh, Tesla is pushing the latest uh, holiday update, and there's lots of supposedly cool features. I'm looking forward to installing it. But I wanted to walk you through the process. I want to show you what it's like. And uh, so stay tuned. And here we go. Tesla will notify you through the phone app or tablet app that there is a software update that's being downloaded to your car. Okay, now the uh, software has downloaded and it says it's ready to install. As it'll take approximately 25 minutes. Okay, now let's go see what we've installed. Excuse the car. It is winter and it's a little dirty. Now that the software is installed, you can go to the control menu. You'll see there's an option here for software. You can click on that. You can see what version of software that you have. You also check out the release notes. It looks like there's a lot of new things that's been released here. You can see the list of all the changes in this version. I'm not going to read through each of these changes, but what I will do is quickly cycle through them. You can pause the video if you'd like to see what has been changed. Well, there's a lot to digest here. I, uh, I'm not going to show you each feature, but I'm going to take a look at a couple of them that are I find very interesting. Uh, one of the new features that I'm going to find quite useful is all these little markers on the map here are supercharger stations, and they've added a new number here to tell you how many empty stalls there are. So when you're in a real congested area, like maybe over here in California, there's lots of superchargers. You'll be able to quickly see, if you have a choice of more than one, which one has more empty stalls. That's a really a nice convenient. You don't have to drill down into the menu like in the past where you'd have to click on there to see how many empty stalls there are. Okay, we'll jump away from this to something that everybody wants to see. We'll go to the toy box. And in the toy box now, they've given us the option to change the sound of the horn, also to change the driving sound, and also the summing so summon sound. Let's just take a look a few of, of these horn sounds. We have everything from fart to la cucaracha. Let's just give la cucaracha a try here. <laughs> oh boy, you're going to drive some people crazy with that. Let's try the old horn. This is Badam Tis. <laughs> All right, a lot of fun here. I wonder what goat is. Uh oh, well, that would frighten somebody. Okay, so driving sound. It says uh, you can essentially change the driving sound. Now I assume these are the sounds that you have at low speed. And one of the things that Musk referred to before, uh, let's see, merry-go-round. Let's just preview this. Kind of nice. Ice cream truck. And a few more. <laughs> 
Oh, the coconut. The old horse coconut. Snake jazz. Hey, they even got a symbol for snake jazz. And then uh, it looks like you can uh, have the very same things for summon sound. Let's take a look at the entertainment. It looks like they've added some new games. I'm not going to take the time to go through all of them, but I want to take a look at Solitaire. Oh, this is quite interesting. See how it plays. Looks pretty good. Very nice. Look at the options down here. Ooh, they even have hint. <laughs> For those of us who aren't very good. Cool. Let's see here. Options. Standard. Vegas. Uh, so you can see how well you do. I think that might be handy for a few people. Exit the game. I'm not going to go through each of the features of this new software release. Those of you who already have a Tesla will soon get it. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, the main purpose of this is just to show people who might be interested in buying a Tesla what it's like to get a software or firmware update to your car after you've owned it for a while. And uh, Tesla is always adding new features and games and just improve to improve your ownership experience. It's one of the great features. You never grow tired of it. Well, it's really been an interesting week. You know, Tesla shut down the Model S and Model X production line. A lot of people are speculating that there might be some sort of a refresh coming up later in January when they reopen the line. And people who are ordering Tesla Model Xs right now are going to have to wait till March for delivery. So there might be some great surprises there. Um, that's one of the things with Tesla. They're always continually updating the cars and you never know when something new is going to come along. Um, it'll be fun to see. It'll be fun to go on this journey with everybody else who's going to get a new Tesla in March. And I really hope the best. I hope you get a lot of cool new features. In the meantime, we're just going to enjoy our car and uh, drive the heck out of it. Oh, and as I've said before, if you're looking to buy a new Tesla, whether it be a Model X or Model 3 Y or S, and you need a referral code, Mine is just down below in the description. You can click on that. It'll take you right to Tesla's site. And you can place your order from there, and you'll get some freebies from that. So until next time, be safe and be kind, and I hope to see you in the next video.